So in this next video, we're just going to take a quick look at some assumptions and ambiguities that may arise when considering orthogonal views. So to start with, let's consider if we have these two views here, our top view and our front view. What is our side view, which would be just off here of our front view? So if we make the assumption that any side not shown is just plain, then that means we will get the following view as our side view. So I've got it over here in SOLIDWORKS. And so we'll get our side view, which is something like this. So if I just change the view there, you can see that we just have this square protruding off our rectangular prism here. However, this may not be the only possibility for our side view. So here is another possibility of a object that we could have instead. So we've just had that square and cut that along here. So if we look from the top, it's exactly the same as our views on the left. If we look from the front, it's the same. And then if we come to our side, we've now got something slightly different. We could also have a side view that is something like this, where we've got this arc. Once again, if we go to the top, it's the same. Front, it's the same. And then back to the side view, we've got this arc. So if we zoom out, that's what we're looking at. So if we don't specify exactly what it is we're looking at, we make the assumption that is just that it is just square. But if you don't have something that is just flat and square and plain, then it is very important to include our side views so we can see what exactly is going on. And our assumptions are not just being made about this square face here, but also to do with on our larger face down here. So here I've just taken a big cut at the bottom corner there. And if we go to our top view, we get the same as what we were seeing before. Front view is the same. And then if we look at our side view, this is what we're seeing now. So it doesn't have to be that simple. It could be something a lot more complex, like this shape here, where we've got several curves. Once again, we'd have the same top and front views. And then we could also have something where just even the side view is not quite enough to fully define our object. So I've got an example here. So if we go to our top view, it's the same. Front view, same. Side view, you see we've got this cut here, but we're not just seeing to the open uh, backside of the object. So if we go to the back view, we can see that we've got some depth in there and it's not traveling right the way through. So in this case, we'd also need this back view. So the important message from all this is to make sure you consider where assumptions can and can't be made and to consider how many views you really need.